Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. Today I'm joined with Fred from Spiritus Systems. Fred, thanks for coming out. Absolutely. And you know, we have a purpose to build a chest rig. Uh, I'm, we're gonna be taking a class with you here in the next uh, 24 hours or so. Yep. So take us through it. What, what, how do we assemble this and get this on my body loaded with mags ready for this class? Yeah, sure. So, you know, getting ready for a class, whatever it may be, um, you just need, you know, for the most part, the very basics. So ammo, you know, you need to carry ammo. Uh, you know, the course that we're gonna go through, I'm just asking for guys that have like three total, total mags. You can have more, of course, but, uh, so you just need a way to have, you know, your rifle and the uh, way to carry magazines for that. So very simple way to do it. Of course, uh, as Adam spoke of before in previous videos, uh, you need to decide what you know type of ammunition or magazine you're going to carry. So you know we have our 308, we have our sub gun, but uh, probably the more common one. And what we're going to do is to do our typical 556 stuff. So you get on the website and you decide, hey, you know, on a one, I want to run three magazines in whatever system I'm using. So I'm going to use this, you know, triple uh, 556 mag insert. So you have that done, got that set aside, and now you're going to look at, you know, should I do a, a a chest rig or or you know and depending on which chest rigs you know which one i want the mark four mark five or do i want a plate carrier or whatever it is but for this you're just going very basic uh you start running the plate carriers you're obviously committing more to it uh looking into armor and such but that's not a requirement for a course so uh you decide hey you know new is best i guess so i'm going to go with the mark five and i'm going to go in a chest rig uh form just because i don't want if i want to commit to to plates that's another expense getting into armor so you know we're going with the mark five um, and so all of our inserts are pretty easy. Inside is all uh, all the uh, females for portion of Velcro, so your pile. And then on the inserts, you have hook on both sides. And so it's just a matter of simply inserting it in there and then getting a good seat on both sides. And now you have a chest rig capable of holding, you know, three, five, five, six mags. All right, so there's Velcro all the way down. How far do you want to put that insert into that placard? Sure, yeah, typically, uh, you know, I like to have the elastic and this line of uh, pile Velcro on the top, and I just line those up. You know, if I was taking my time with this, I would actually, you know, look at it and make sure all these lines are lined up and then press it together. Uh, but quite honestly, as long as you're within an inch of that top portion of it, you should be pretty much settled there. There's no real issue. Uh, and it's not gonna, uh, you know, hinder whatsoever the way uh, you're gonna be able to access those magazines in there. So a lot of it's preference, but uh, I think that the norm is to just line all three of those lines up and you should be good to go. Okay. So yeah, now you have a way to, to carry and hold your magazines, but now you, this thing's just not gonna be floating on your chest. So you gotta have some way to strap that thing to you. So right. uh, we have two different types of, of straps. These are probably the most common ones that we use is the fat straps. Uh, we also have skinny ones, but uh, they're the cross X in the back and they tend to like, if you get really heavy with your stuff, they tend to kind of creep up on your shoulders or your neck if you're not too familiar with them. So the back straps are the most common. And so we have the fatter portion uh, towards the front that's gonna go actually across your chest. And then it just goes through the back to create that, that uh, vertical or that horizontal portion of the H that's gonna go across your back. And then you have your two uh, skinnier straps that are actually gonna come around your lats and connect to the bottom portion of your uh, harness. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So the fat guys are gonna clip in. You also have females on these portions connecting to the male buckles. And then you have male buckles connecting to the female so you can't really mess that thing up. Got it. I suppose you could. You could probably force your way in there and make it work, but uh, you're gonna get laughed at, that's okay. All right, so now we have the harness portion of it. The last piece, uh, in essence, is, is just the back strap that goes around your uh, waist. And, and it'll, it'll keep this system from kind of leaning forward. If, you, if you're leaning forward, it won't, it'll keep it you know, closer to your body and keep it tight. So. Sure. And quite honestly, if you wanted to, you know, you could simply just stop right there. And now you have a way to, you know, carry your three magazines to get through uh, this course of fire that we're going to go through tomorrow. Um, but of course, you know, you know, safety is always a thing and contingencies are a thing as well. Uh, going out on the range and doing live fire stuff, 
uh, maybe it's it's it'd be responsible for you to carry some type of medical equipment with you as well, uh, and that's what our our uh, sack is meant for. The, uh, in the beginning, was to carry medical equipment, uh, so you can have your rifle mags here to do your shooting with. But then also, in case of an emergency, you can have uh, medical equipment, uh, phone, whatever it may be. If there if, if an emergency were to arise, it's really really easy to install this. So the back of the microfights all have this hook Velcro with this uh, with the soft side covering it, and as you can see, the uh, sack has you know the pile on one side, a hook on the other. It's simply just matching the two, and then using this backer again to cover it back up, just for comfort and noise abatement as well. You don't want this stuff scratching on your gear. Sure. And then that's it. Um, very, very basic setup, and you're ready to run rifle bags uh, through a course, but also have any kind of uh, you know emergency type medical situation or carry your phone or any other maybe accessory equipments that you need, uh, lubrication for your weapon, whatever it may be. Um, and what's awesome about this though is that you know you got started with this um, and it can only go up from there. So if you decide chest rigs are the way I need to go, you can just expand with our systems, maybe with a thing two, or maybe with our expander wings. Um, you know, put a front pocket on this guy, maybe put more uh, accessory pouches on the sides with our thing two. Um, you know, you start getting into the, the armor business, you know, you start taking more advanced courses, uh, you get an armor carrier, all this stuff is compatible, you can put over to that. And then you can also just go back and you tailor it down. Uh, and then any products that come along with Spirit of Systems, it's all gonna be able to still work together. That, that network and that system is still gonna all be able to work. So um, you're kind of making a long-term investment with this. This isn't gonna go away. This will always be compatible with all the rest of our stuff that come down, comes along later on the line. So. so I think at this point, it's pretty safe to say that, you know, less is more. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you're gonna put something on your body that's able to hold things, you're probably gonna put something in it, whether you need it or not. Um, you know, all these pockets on my jeans, I don't really need all of them, but I have something in each one of those pockets. So it's, it's just, that's the same as it goes with this stuff. Uh, I mean, this is really, really more than capable enough for, uh, for a grand majority of folks that need, uh, need things. And then, uh, you know, again, what's awesome about our system is if you feel like I need one more thing, like I need to have this radio, you can just get one little wing, put that radio in there and that's it. Um, you don't need to just keep adding on things because you feel like it. Uh, if you decide you need one little pouch right here to fit my binoculars, you can just get that and that's it. You don't have to get this gigantic pouch uh, that's way more than enough. And uh, you put one set of binoculars in there and then you're like, you know what? Might as well take two sets of binoculars. And then you put two in there and then maybe some snacks or whatever. Nope. Um, you can tailor it to exactly the way you need it. Uh, but yes, quite honestly, less is more. Uh, the more stuff you put on, the more you feel inclined to, to add more things that you really don't need. Yeah, and that makes perfect sense. Fred, I really appreciate you running through this with us. Absolutely. So if y'all have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.